I did my We Didn't Start the Fire project on Marilyn Monroe. Actress Marilyn Monroe faced a difficult upbringing to become one of the best and most famous women in the world. Her films grossed over 200 million. She was best known for playing blonde bombshell characters. More than half a century later, she remains a major symbol in popular culture. Born to her schizophrenic mother, Gladys Pearl Baker, in Los Angeles, California, on the 1st of June, 1926, as Norma Jean Baker. She had been in orphanages and foster care in her childhood. She was sent to a family friend in 1937 to raise her, and they were paid $27 a week. They could not afford to have her while the family was planning a move to the East Coast. Monroe was taken to foster care while sexual violence was suffered. She had dropped out of high school by the age of 15 and married her husband at 16 to escape the foster care system. She worked at an explosive factory in Van Nuys, California until her husband was sent to the South Pacific. A photographer discovered her, and by the time her husband returned in 1946, they divorced. She was already a successful model. She signed her first cinema contract la later that year. This deal carried a fresh look, blonde hair, and the name Marilyn Monroe. In the beginning, she was not the best actress. She was fed up with Hollywood in the 1950s and moved to work with Lee Strasberg in New York City. Monroe faced challenges. She had anxiety about performance, better known as stage fright. While it caused her to be late for rehearsals and for performances, it led to frustration in cast and crew. Marilyn had been laid off from her jobs. If she raced like a watch, it would be the best, once told Billy Wilder about her. I've got a very timely Aunt Minnie, but who would pay to thank Aunt Minnie? Monroe was told she should just be a secretary. Given her struggles, she persevered in winning many prizes, perhaps most famously her Golden Globe in the 1960s for Some Like It Hot as Best Actress. She was nominated and won several awards. In 1992, she was named the sixth greatest women's all-star. Unfortunately, Monroe's career and personal life were in turmoil in the early 1960s. Her last two films were not doing well. On August 5, 1962, at the young age of 36, Marilyn Monroe overdosed on sleeping pills. Although murder is being skept skepticized, speculated, it is legally ruled as a suicide. Numerous celebrities imitated Marilyn in her iconic ways. Her impact can never be forgotten. Monroe endured many struggles and remained a courageous individual. She left her mark on Hollywood and the world of films will always be remembered.